In this video, I will be continuing the analysis of combined stresses and introducing the, uh, very briefly the Mohr circle. But before I kick this off, I would like to apologize about the background noise in the previous video, towards the end of the video. So I'll quickly explain the last point I was talking about in the previous video. Okay, So, there's a plane where the normal stresses are a maximum. How do we determine this? Okay. This, by differentiating the horizontal stresses that are rotated at an angle theta, and we differentiate this um, with respect to theta, and we set it to equal zero. Solving for this, we can get the solutions for the plane, theta p, in terms of tan, cos, and sine. And these are the final results, okay? In terms of tan, cos, and sine. And if you look at the cos and sine, they're just uh, negatives of, the, of each other. And the fact that they're found in terms of 2 theta p is telling you that the solutions are separated by 180 degrees. Okay? This is just simple trig. And if we actually divide by 2, then obviously they're just going to be separated by 90 degrees. So this is the point that I found that there was background noise in it, and I hope it's slightly clarified. Now moving on to the point of this video, continued analysis of combined shear stresses and normal stresses. Okay, so the solution of the when we remember how we, we just talked about one second ago differentiating the horizontal stresses, normal stresses, and setting it to equal to zero. It doesn't exactly imply it's a maximum, but it shows you that there is a stationary point. In fact, there are two solutions for the angle corresponding to alternating maximum.